this presentation, we will take a look at the Federal Income Tax, FIT tax, within QuickBooks. Here we are. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. On the home page, we currently have the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, you want to go to the view drop down and the open windows list. We're currently in the S Corp paid payroll example problem. The FIT tax also will be driven by payroll items. So we'll take a look at the payroll items. We'll take a look at the setup in the employee and a paycheck. To look at the payroll item, we're going to go to the view drop down or the lists drop down. We're going to go to the payroll item list, payroll item list. And this, once again, are going to be the payroll items. We'll go through the setup process for these payroll items at a future time. But just note that these items are going to be the things that are going to be used in order to tell QuickBooks how to properly calculate the payroll. The payroll item for FIT is one of the major things we're paying for, for when we pay for payroll within QuickBooks because the FIT is going to be a more complex type calculation. It's being a progressive tax and not just a flat tax. Therefore, much more difficult to calculate from an employee by employee basis. QuickBooks will typically set this up as we go through the interview process. It'll typically set this up as the federal withholding. So it's because it's a federal tax, even though it's complex, it's fairly standardized in that it's in the entire United States and therefore QuickBooks can standardize it in that format at least. <laughs> so if we, when we go through the interview process, if we double click on this federal withholding, you can see it's a federal withholding. If we say next, it's going to go to the United States Treasury. It's going to end up having a payroll liability that we're going to take from the employee. That's why it's going to go to a liability account. I won't go through all of these items. We'll go through those when we set up. Then, of course, we got to go to the individual employees and fill out the information so that QuickBooks has the information needed in order to calculate the federal withholdings. And as we look at what, what is needed, we'll see why it's needed within QuickBooks. So if we go up top and take a look at the Employee Center, we're going to go to the Employee Center and just take a look at one of our employees, that being Anthony. If we double click on Anthony here, we're going to say, okay, if we go, the essential data that we're going to need is the pay periods we have, the number of exemptions, marital status. So if we go to the payroll information, this is where we're typically going to be entering this information. He's an hourly employee overtime. If we go to the taxes up top, that's where we're going to have the information related to the FIT that's needed to basically have QuickBooks look up in the related tables typically to find the correct withholding amount based on the information given, that being marital status, number of allowances, this being gotten when we get the new employee, typically from the W-4, and we'll go through that process and demonstrate the data entry in an example problem. But this is where it's going to go. We got the Medicare, Social Security, federal uh, unemployment tax. And then we have the state information, California uh, allowances as well. California being similar. We're focusing here more on the federal side of things. But of course, state to states will differ depending on the state. And we'll have a similar kind of um, state withholding depending on the state we're going to be within. So we'll close that back out. And of course, that will change from employee to employee. If I close this back out. And we go into our other employee, Judy, Judy Jones, and we take a look at her payroll information, still monthly payroll, but if we go up to the taxes up top, allowances are different, the marital, marital status could differ here as well. So that's where that information goes. Once that's in place, QuickBooks can do, I'm going to close this back out, the fairly complex calculation of what the FIT should be. And again, it's more complex than just a flat tax of, hey, this is how much you earned this is going to be some flat rate of what we're going to take from you. <laughs> it's got to be based on tables, based on that information that we're giving it. And therefore, we're very thankful for having some system to prevent us from having to look up tables to do that uh, manually, which is not fun. But we'll practice doing it anyway, just to get just to know what we're doing. So let's take a look at a paycheck now. If we go to the banking drop down and go to use register and we're going to open up the checking account. And once again, we'll take a look at a paycheck for Anthony. Let's take a look at this one. I'm just going to double click on the 12-1 paycheck. And if we go to the paycheck detail, then we'll see gross pay calculated here. The federal uh, income tax, the federal withholdings is there. So that's the 162. 
there's no real rhyme or reason that we can look at just this and this number very easily to get this number. We can't do a flat calculation as we can more simply with the Social Security. Some of these other items here, including the 401ks, as we'll discuss later, uh, are going to be involved in the calculations. And therefore, it starts to get quite complex on, in terms of this particular tax and more complex than other types of taxes. So again, very nice to have a system to calculate the FIT, even if we have <laughs> minimal employees. We're going to close this back out, close this back out. And let's take a look at one more for Judy here. If we take a look at Judy's taxes, she, she makes more money, but has less other activity going on uh, in terms of, of other benefits. So we have the salaried employee here, and then we've got the federal withholding. Even with this limited amount of information, it's still a bit difficult for us to really get to this number, federal withholdings, from the data in this set. Because again, we have to look up tables no matter what in order to do so. Whereas the Social Security and the Medicare, if we had to calculate those, wouldn't be as difficult as the FIT. Although it's still possible to do the FIT, we can do it manually and we'll take a look at examples of doing that. Just be aware that if we have more than one employee, multiple employees, as we get more employees and more benefits, that type of calculation becomes more tedious. The computer helps a lot, but we want to know what the computer is doing so that we can we can look at it and say, is this reasonable? Is what the computer doing here reasonable? And be able to go back and check and take and tie and see if uh, troubleshoot any problems that may arise. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.